My name is Brian and welcome back to Barb's Vault. Today in the vault we're going to be talking about chems, more importantly mentats and berry mentats. So these are two of my favorite chems to use to level up as quick as possible and to just blast through the scoreboard. So right at the top, first we're going to talk about our perk cards. So the ones you want to keep in mind are Green Thumb, Chemist, and Super Duper. Let's get started. We're going to go ahead and take a look at both the recipes for mentats and berry mentats. Come over here to your good old chemistry station. So, you can see here for berry mentats, you have to have regular mentats in order to actually produce them. So, first things first, you're going to want to find the recipe for these things. And that can be a little bit tricky. I found the recipe for berry mentats actually at a player vendor, but you can find these at the White Spring Bunker, but they do rotate. And I believe that they only have one slot to change out for chem recipes at the actual modus station there. So it might take you a little bit to actually find them. But we're just going to go ahead and assume that you've actually found these recipes. The reason why mentats and berry mentats are so important, if you just take a look right here at the bottom of the screen, you can see plus two intelligence and plus two perception for five minutes increases thirst. Thirst and hunger really have no actual effect on you in the game realistically. They don't detract, they only have benefits if you get rid of them. So, Berry Mentats, this is the god of leveling up. So, plus five intelligence and highlights living targets for five minutes, increases thirst. So, we're gonna go ahead and take a look here at our cards, and first things first, number one is Chemist. You get double the quantity when you craft chems. I've heard people online say that it actually doesn't affect Mentats, but everything that I've seen in game tells me that that is not the case. You have chemist on, and you're going to be producing twice the amount of any chems that you're producing. And then the number two perk that you want to have on is everybody's absolute favorite luck card, Super Duper. So, when you craft Mentats, what's going to happen is you're going to have a chance to pop the Super Duper, and you're going to produce twice the amount. And when you have chemist on, you're going to produce even more. That's my understanding. They might not be able to stack, so somebody... Fact check me in the comment section below. So you have all the ingredients to craft one Mentat. You use Super Duper, that doubles that quantity. And then that gives you two Mentats to use to craft Berry Mentats. You can see how this cascades and eventually you'll just have an insane amount of chems overall, I believe. I have 43 Berry Mentats. And before I knew this, you know, little tip and trick, it took me forever to produce this amount. I think I was producing one and I was just blowing through all my resources like a total dingus. So don't be like me and take what I'm saying to heart. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you how to find all of the ingredients for this, which can be a little bit tedious, but again, when you have all these perks on, it kind of negates all the negative side effects. So, fire cap, brain fungus, and carrot flower. Fire cap is the most annoying one out of the three ingredients to actually find. But I'll show you where I usually go to to actually get them. Brain fungus, you can find those any day of the week. Carrot flower, dude, you, you got chock a block of carrot flower. It's not going to take you very long to find those. So let's get started. Okay, so up here at the Palace of the Winding Path. So this is just where I go to farm them, but you can find this in a lot of different locations in the world. And honestly, the only reason why I come to this one is because there's a pretty high concentration of it. And I know that the majority of the time, these are not going to be getting picked through, so I don't need to worry about other people coming to actually snag them and farm them before I do. So, when we're gathering, we're going to go ahead and slop on one more perk card, and that's going to be Green Thumb. Reap twice as much when harvesting flora. So, come over here, going to find some carrot flower. There we go, boom. See there, I got two carrot flowers. So, Green Thumb is going to give me twice the amount of yield when I'm harvesting. So, realistically, if you have Green Thumb on, Super Duper, Chemist, you're going to be just producing an insane amount of Berry Mentats. Where I go to get my Brain Fungus is right here at the Windigo Cave. Don't know why I said that with an Australian accent. It just sounded Australian in my head, even though I know that Windigos are a Native American thing. We're going to run right in. You're going to see a little bit of these ghoulie ghouls right here. 
No problem for us big boys, us big beefy boys. So you're gonna look at the walls for these little brain fungus looking dudes. And the green thumb perk also works for all this fungi. I actually need to find one that hasn't been picked yet. This is a pretty common spot to farm for brain fungus. Boom, got two there. Excuse me, sir. Another one there. Another one there. Another one. Oh, don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass me, guys. Please. We'll just grab one more for posterity's sake. Okay, and then where I go for fire caps, and this one is the annoying one, is monorail elevator. So this one is actually not gonna be one that I'm picking. It's gonna be one that I'm just going to a spot where I know that they actually just spawn pre-picked, which is annoying, but all the spots that I frequent where they actually do spawn in where they're pickable, um, they're usually already been scavenged by the people who came before me. So it's not usually worth my time to go over there and grab them. So right here, you spawn in over in that direction. Bam, bam. Next to our good old skeletal friend here, some fire caps. Okay, so back here at camp, we're going to go ahead and produce some of these guys. We're going to double check the perks, make sure we got them all on. We have Chemist on, and we have Super Duper. Let's see how many Mentats we get. Okay, so I'm going to be limited to nine, because I have only nine fire caps. Oh, no, eight! So, looking at berry Mentats, we have Brain Fungus, which is relatively simple to get, Firecracker Berry, regular old Mentats, and Starlight Berries. So, Starlight Berries are the bane of my existence, and I will show you where I usually go to farm these, and it's a bit of a pain in the ass, and it's gonna require we have an outfit change. I always go to The Deep, which is located just south of Summersville, which is where I usually go to farm books and to reset my junk list. It can actually be a little bit easy to miss the entrance to it, but it's right here. So eventually, if you're just doing the quests and stuff like that, you will be brought to this location just by playing the game, but this is where I go to actually find it. Okay, so while we're in here, I might as well go ahead and grab some of these brain fungi. Already here, so why not kill two birds with one stone? But the difficult part is these cave crickets, which weirdly do a lot of damage to me, and I hate them so much. Jesus. Okay. Brain fungus. Okay, so these waters, they're extremely irradiated. Like... A lot. Like, even for being in a, a post-apocalyptic universe. I'm gonna switch over to my Chinese stealth armor. And we're gonna go ahead and navigate this. So, it is easy to panic because I have a sense of existential dread when it comes to caves and bodies of water. So, this one's a bit of a nightmare for me. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shoot over here to the right-hand side. And I frequently get lost regardless. Oh boy. Oh boy. Did I get lost? Okay. We're gonna duck under here. I probably died in this cave like a dozen times before I actually figured out where the quest was trying to take me to, so don't be embarrassed. Boom. Okay, now we're out. I'm actually gonna switch back over to my unyielding armor. And all we have in here some more Stylar Creepers. Great spot to just farm them here in the very entrance of it. But we're going to keep going a little bit deeper. So coming out here, we're going to actually find a secret... Chinese communist base which is inhabited shockingly by ghoulish Chinese communist oh there we go some juicy bushes right here the Chinese communist base is just littered with these starlight creepers and since we have green thumb on we're actually gonna be getting a ton of these which is good because like I said this place is just an absolute nightmare zone 
Okay, so next up is firecracker berries. So there are two places that I usually go to and the first one we're gonna venture off to is Arctos Pharma or Arctos. I'm actually not sure how it's pronounced. So it actually spawns you over here on the east side We're gonna venture all the way over to the west and these can be a little bit tricky to farm because they do have a chance to explode So that's why we get the perks on so that way we're just making sure that we're getting the best out of each run So they look like this right here. Boom I'm actually not sure what triggers the explosion for them, but we're just gonna go ahead and avoid that there we go. Four firecracker berries for Brian. And like I said, they can be a little bit difficult to spot. Oh, fire cap actually. Convenient for Brian. More fire cap. No, no, I'm sorry. More firecracker berry. There we go. Now it's looking lush. Like I said, all the way over here on the US side. Okay, so right now I am at 43 berry mentats. And we've used all of our perk cards in tandem, so we're producing twice the amount of regular mentats. We're using green thumb to get more of the actual flora and fauna that we need. So let's get started. Okay, coming down to berry mentats, we have 29 brain fungus, 32 firecracker berry, 37 mentats, and 18 starlight berries. Okay. Ooh. I love when super duper pops. Now we have 87 berry mentats. So you can see that the further you get into the game, the less you're going to be just running around, just doing busy work. Once you're at the level where you're able to use all these perk cards in tandem, it's really a great choice to research them, make sure you're using the right things, and to make sure that you're playing the game in the most efficient way possible. But hopefully this was helpful for anybody who is maybe new to the game, or maybe they're in the mid-game era of their actual journey through Fallout 76. But it's been a while since I've been able to upload. I had some things going on in my real life. But I really appreciate everyone getting us to over a thousand subscribers here on Barb's Vault. So now the channel has monetization. So I'm assuming by the time this video goes up, we'll have channel members. So if you like me, you like the content that I'm making, maybe consider becoming a channel member. And we're going to be doing some more streams and doing more cool, fun stuff to get people more actively involved. But until next time, I love you, I appreciate you, and thank you for stopping by and spending time here in Barb's Vault.